right, we got another early unboxing, a big box. We got a nice big box here. I think I'm gonna like these ones. I think you guys will like it as well. Gotta give a huge shout out to, again, Souls by Zay. Hopefully I don't cut myself here. Ah, oh my God, this shoe is like, this is not good. It's all stuck. We got some 1984 Airship PE. Jordan Airship PE SP. It's a dope freaking box. Is it like a vintage color? I can't even tell. Bro, this is messing with my eyes. Why does this look vintage and this looks clean? And then, wait, what? Is it? Yeah, it does. Why does this box look like this? This is weird. Am I losing my mind here? Like it fades? Yeah, it does. So here they are. Let's take a look. Whew. I like these, man. I like these. So these are the Airship PEs. Put the box over here to the side. Ah, dude, I think these are fire. These are fire. And then of course on the back is every game. Every game. Do you guys know the story behind these? This, I don't know if this is like the actual thing, but this is what people are reporting. This shoe is inspired by his underwear. Apparently he wore a pair of UNC baby blue shorts underneath his shorts. It's not, it's not underwear, it's his UNC. Yeah, but it's, it's compression shorts. Yeah, his UNC compression shorts, right? Worn his UNC shorts under his Chicago uniform. There you go. But it, he wore it underneath his basketball shorts. So I'm sorry, like, I'm gonna say it's basically like under, I mean, what do you wear? Do you, do you wear two shorts? There's a skid mark on the sole? Nah. Yeah, so that's the thing. So it's, okay, so the shorts. So his lucky shorts. His lucky UNC shorts. That's what they're inspired by. And he supposedly wore them every game, right? He wore them every game. These are hard. So they're cracked leather. Check, these kind of like the Ama Maniers. I don't have my Ama Manier anymore. Uh, maybe I can show you a comparison between... You'll see more of the cracked a little bit here. Comes with some extra laces. Comes with white laces. You have... It comes with nice royal blue. Kind of like a deep blue. Inside just has the jump man. And then it says the, tw uh, the 12. My size, 12 on the inside like every airship does. Nothing on the tongue, nothing. Quality is excellent on these guys. I don't know, I'm curious to see how these release. I don't know if these are supposed to be like super exclusive. I'm not sure if these are super exclusive. They do say, I don't know, PE, does that even make a difference? You can see the crack leather like that. Very similar crack leather. It's like, dude, it's the same crack leather, right? You got that white stain. He's got the cream, he's got the white laces in it too. The white laces look hard. Holy shit. These are clean, man. These are clean. I don't know what you guys think. Low key, this is better than most of the Jordan 1s that they've released this year. Stop, stop the hype. Okay, let's go through it. Let's go. I'm taking these over Lucky Greens. Taking these over Lucky Greens. Freaking Skylines. Any, anybody even still want these? Y'all took these over Skyline. These have all been the... These have been the Jordan 1s this year. The Airship is better than all these. Like, the Jordan 1s this year have been terrible. Now, I'm not counting this. This was a restock. I think these are better than all three of these. 85 highs? You really want to count 85 highs? You can maybe make a claim. You can maybe say that the 85s... But I think these Airships are clean, bro. Airship silhouette is just not it. it. What do you mean? It's the same thing. It just doesn't have a Wings logo. Maybe the cut is high different. Someone's really saying true blues are better. You're taking this shoe over these. Get the f*** out of here. Record this shit right now. Record this shit right now. I want to catch all these people in 4K later, bro. Y'all the first one screaming bricks. Get out of here. Y'all didn't even buy these. We keep in that same energy too? Okay. I'm shocked by it. I've never seen you guys wear a pair of True Blues. Never seen you guys. You guys even show up to the live cop. But this is the best Jordan 1 of the year. It's under retail because nobody wants it. Stop fighting. Nike's tearing this family apart. It's just an argument. It's not an end of the world. I'm just disagreeing with a lot of you guys. And that's perfectly fine. I think this one was pre is pretty well done. I think this one's a good. This one's executed well. The airships, the airships are usually pretty trash. I agree. The cracked leather, the good quality, the thick suede, the story behind it. This being his lucky shorts. Um, every game on the back. I think these are well done.